Hey y'all, I know it's been a really long time, but work and everything else, I've been really busy here. Uh, no racing, because, well, it's snowing outside, so I'm back to the models on the inside here, like I was during the uh, first couple of lockdowns. So I guess, you know, there's worse ways to spend your time. I just wanted to show you all what I was working on. So, first off, I'm going to show you the box of this kit. And we'll get back to that in just a second here, as you can no doubt tell. It's a Volkswagen Golf rally car from Eschi. And yeah, this is what we got done on that so far. Nice little tidy roll bar. The uh, seats don't come with the belts. I put those on, but that's where we got so far. And then there's that little Volkswagen four-cylinder. And uh, yeah, those are ignition wires sticking out of it that I'm going to tidy up and be really good with. You know, so I'll, I'll loop them down into the distributor. You can actually see that I got a hole drilled for that right away here. And then we're going to come over here. What's on uh, the side burners? There's the body for the Golf and the tires. And here is, it's a Tamiya Alfa Romeo GTV model. Work in progress, as you can see, that nice chassis. It's Tamiya, so you know it's going to be good. And just, you know, just look at that. Nothing done to it. That's just how it comes in the kit. That beautiful little Alpha twin cam engine. Just just good stuff right there. So, yeah, I uh, just got on a, a little bit of a foreign car kick, so I'm doing that. This rally car kit from Eshi, I actually found this in Model Empire in West Dallas, Wisconsin. And if you're in the area, if you're passing through my lovely state, you owe it to yourself to go to Model Empire. It is awesome. They had this kit in their back stash. They purchased collections and so forth from people. It was still in the cellophane. And, like, the only, other than Volkswagen Golf Rally, pretty much everything else on it is not in English. So I'm guessing this was actually a European release of this kit. I have no idea how it got all the way over here and into that, that condition. But under the cellophane, it was absolutely gorgeous on the inside. And the, the decals even were in nice shape, which considering it's a 1981 release, that's shocking to me. So I decided it deserved a box art car treatment, which I don't normally do. So I'm going to go for that. So, And I also found out this is actually the tooling that AMT or whoever has recently re-released is just a regular road car golf. This just has... The cool uh, racing car stuff in it, you know, the roll bar and that type of thing. So, so yeah, if I do end up breaking something or, or losing something, I do have the ability to fix it potentially. But I'm going to give this kit the respect it deserves and try to make um, make it into a racer. And then we're going to pan over to the left here. And on the far back burner, as you can see, Normal service will be returned shortly. I love them all. I love cars, period. But I'm definitely a muscle car and road race car guy at heart. Can anyone guess what this is going to be when we're all set and done? I bet you can. So there you go. We'll do some pictures and some more video when the stuff is all set and ready to go. But until next time, you guys uh, be good out there, stay safe, and we'll talk to you then.